failed my life. I worked till I ate my bones. At the end, At the end of the day, I take home my heart. Good morning, Woodgate. I'm Ashlyn. And I'm Casey. And this is News 52 This Morning. To start off our day, please stand for the pledges in a moment of silence. Good morning, Woodgate. Hope you're off to a great start this morning. Fantastic Monday morning. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. So glad to see you here today. We have a special guest with us this morning. This is Ms. Nance, and she is here helping with uh, box tops. If you've noticed in the cafeteria, we have had a competition going on for a while now, boys versus girls. The box tops have been growing, and you guys have done a great job. And if you can see, we have a total here, dollars made, $224.80. And really so nice. I'm going to congratulations, give yourselves a round of applause. You did a wonderful job. Ms. Nance, who, how, how did the numbers go? How did that work out for us? Well, um, it was uh, boys all the way at the beginning, and then the girls had a strong comeback. So um, the final total, the winner is. We're going to have a little reveal here. Yeah. The color of balloons determines. Is it blue for boys or pink for girls? Let's see who the winner is. Oh my it's goodness! The boys. It's the boys. You guys won the box top challenge. The grand total was thirteen fifty nine for boys. That is a lot of Woo. box tops. Somebody loves granola bars. All right. Um, and the girls total was eight eighty nine. But really, the winner is Woodgate because you guys did such a great job and you've earned so much money for Woodgate. We're so proud of you. Um, but boys, look for a special treat at lunch yes. next, uh, next Monday. Week. Next lunch Monday, time. we're going to take care of that for you guys. So congratulations, boys. And keep those box tops rolling in. This is not the, the end of it. Just keep turning those in, and it's dollars for Midway, dollars for Woodgate. So thank you so much. Let's make it a thank you. Thank you, Ms. Nance, for being yes. here. We appreciate it. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you. Now for weather. Currently, it's 52 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Our high today is 68 degrees with cloudy skies. This week, look for rain tomorrow and sunshine by the end of the week. Now for your sports with Casey. Thank you, Ashlyn. In the NBA, the Spurs defeated the Suns 118 to 111. The Mavs won against the 76ers 129 to 103. And the Cavs defeated the Thunder 115 to 92. In the NCAA, on Saturday, 25th ranked Baylor defeated Texas on the road 78 to 64. The third and third ranked Oklahoma also defeated 10th ranked West Virginia on the road 76 to 62. That's it for sports. Today in history. <clears throat> Today in 1732, the first president of the United States, George Washington, was born in Westmoreland County in Virginia Colony. Happy birthday, George. This week, several, cl several clubs will be meeting. Here are the dates. 
Lego Club, Engineering Club, and Spirit Club, and 5th Grade Volleyball Club all meet after school on Tuesday. Name that book club meets Thursday at lunch. Boys to Men and Chess Club meet Thursday after school. Attention all choir students. Today, we'll be meeting after school in the cafeteria. Make sure you're there. Now for a special announcement from Mr. Glazeman. Hey Wood Great, this is Mr. Glazeman. So sorry I wasn't here last week. I've been in training, so I feel like I've been away forever. So it's so good to be back here. Um, this announcement's for fifth grade. So if you're a fifth grader, listen up. Today during ST, you're gonna be taking a survey with your teachers on your iPad. Uh, so be looking for Edmodo, be listening for an announcement from me. It's very important that every fifth grader take this survey. It will take about 10, 15 minutes to complete, uh, but the data that we'll get from it is invaluable. So make sure today during ST you're listening for that announcement on the speakers and then go into Edmodo and check in for that link um, so that you can complete that survey. Make it a great day. That's all for us. Have, Have a great, great week, Woodgates.